What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now today's Friday, which means Zer is back once again. You can find him over in the EDZ, he'll be in the Winding Cove, up by the Fallen Skiff. Cool. Let's have a little look and see what he has for us this week then. So we've got the new exotic engram. So if you're filling out your collections, this has a chance to drop any pieces that are remaining. However, if you already have a full collection, then this can contain a random piece of armor, hopefully with a higher stat roll, should you need it. So a quick skim. So we have the fighting line as the exotic weapon for the week. We have the trick sleeves for the hunter. We also have the stand asides for the titan and the stag for the warlock. Any consumables can be found here. So five of swords if you're still working on those and invitations of the nine can be found at the bottom. Cool. So the fighting lion then. So this is an exotic grenade launcher. It has delayed gratification where grenade projectiles will bounce off surfaces. And if you hold fire and then release to detonate. It also has thin the herd where direct hits do more damage to enemy combatant shields. Rapid kills against grenade damage enemies refill the magazine and kills always drop primary ammo. Uh, this is a pretty fun weapon and one to learn to use as well. It's got a very unique play style and it is very good for if you're going after mountaintop, for example, you'll see a lot of this in Crucible if they're working on those pinnacle weapons from previous seasons. It also has a few ornaments. I've got this pretty manky green one, to be fair. But if you don't have it, then it's definitely worth picking up, guys. And the trick sleeves for the hunter. So this is a solar affinity with a 48 stat. Spring loaded mountain, so increased sidearm ready and reload speed. And while you're critically wounded, swap into a sidearm increases its damage. Now, where we are, I guess, in the game with sidearms in Destiny 2, they are quite strong, especially Last Hope at the moment. Everyone seems to be farming that. So to pair this with that or any other sidearm with a good roll for that matter, it's definitely worth a shout. If you don't have this one already in your collection, guys, then definitely pick it up if you need it. Stand asides. So we have seriously watch out. It grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with a seismic strike, hammer strike or shield bash equipped. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. These are very much for yeeting if you are very in on that as a titan. It also is very good. The Peregrine Greaves is another alternative because that does increase damage. So I think with those in mind, these may not see as much use as they do, but nevertheless, they are still fun to use. They have a void affinity and a 50 stat this week. So again, worth picking up if you don't have them. And they're from the original Curse of Osiris expansion. And then finally, we have the Stag for the Warlock. So we have a void affinity with a 48 stat, so relatively low. Dearly departed, so it grants rift energy when you're critically wounded. And on your death, it creates a healing rift on your corpse. It's very situational, this exotic. Um, it's very ornate. It actually probably has one of the best ornaments in the game. If you ask me, it's pretty incredible. But it has its limited usage, but it is a fun one to use. It might be more worthwhile when things like trials make a return, hopefully in the near future. So there we have it, guys. That's going to wrap up Zer for this week. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.